Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane truck and behind me, the 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Now this is the black edition, the very top of the line. Recently, we had an opportunity to take this off-road up against three other mid-size trucks. Now, frankly, it didn't do great compared to those trucks. However, we all agreed that what we need to do is take it up Goldmine Hill, which is the crucible, the way we like to test off-roaders, trucks, SUVs, and see how it does. And coming up next, you're gonna see exactly what it can do. Now there's something right off the bat that you guys should know. Though this comes with Firestone Destination LE mud and snow tires, and it's mounted on 18 inch painted wheels. For those of you who like to go off road, I rarely recommend painted wheels, but that goes with the whole black edition motif. These tires off road recently did okay. I think that with real mud and snow, they might do better, but rock crawling, not so much. Going up Goldmine Hill in the 2017 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. This first part should be no problem for this vehicle. Loose rocks, fairly steep incline. There are a couple crossovers that can't make it, or they risk it damage at least when we're trying it. There should be no problem with this one. Right now, I'm maintaining a very low speed, and when I get up to the second obstacle, the hard part that makes it hard is you have to stop, which kills your momentum, and then start up again at an incline to go around that corner. Now, there are some options for off-roading, so to speak. <laughs> there's snow, there's mud, there's sand, and there's normal. Currently I have it in the normal mode, I just figured why not, right? But I'm gonna put it into sand mode. Behold! 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque, coming out of an Earth Dreams 3.5 liter direct injected V6. And it's hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission. Now you can get them hooked up to a front-wheel drive only version, but in this case, it's an all-wheel drive version. Now, I will say this, combined MPG 21 miles per gallon, that's not too bad. In fact, that's best in class next to the diesels. And we have proven that with towing, and city driving, and highway driving, and drag racing. This is one of the better engines available for a mid-sized truck. I know it's hard to believe. All right, here we go. Obstacle number two, the turn. Mm. Well, it wasn't really that hard for it to get traction. It slipped just a little bit. Now, because this is relatively long, we're gonna try to square off the corner. Definitely got one wheel off the ground now. And away we go. Easy as pie. Very little slippage. Not bad. Two parts of the uh, gold mine hill. No problem. Uh, the last part? Yeah, it's going to be a bit of work. There's so much erosion on this hill in this hole on the left that I'm afraid we might uh, bottom out and we're gonna try to avoid that. Let's see what happens. I think this is just by eye. He's a scraper. Just by eye. I know the four-wheel drive system will work. I know it will. It's just a question of clearance. So, here we go. This thing is wide. Damn. Which boat are you in? I'm in sand. Give it a second, it has to figure it out. I might need to go into a different mode. and if 
to go further forward, the chin will rub. Okay, let's uh, try it again. Let's back down carefully. This time I'm going up a different angle. And just as I suspected, we made it. There was a little bit of rubbing on the bottom, but it really had no problem. The reason why the first time we didn't do it is because I was going into the hill. So I was digging into it. So this worked better. We have made it to the top of the mighty hill using the Honda Ridgeline. <laughs> hey, it's not a rock crawler. We know that, but it did really well. Yes, I had to make two runs at the final obstacle, but that was driver's error. I had to straighten out my position and it did great. Once I had it in sand mode, the traction came on no problem, despite the fact that it has street bias tires and they really are. So what have we learned? Well, it is very good on asphalt. It's very good on sand and it did really well on Goldmine Hill. Look, call it what you want. It's a usable tool. <laughs> I said tool. Thank you so much for joining me for the Fastlane Trek. This is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget to go to tlfltrek.com for news views and real world reviews. I'll see you next time. Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane Truck and behind me the 2017 Nissan Armada. Now we recently had an opportunity to drive one of these off-road on a course that Nissan provided, but now we get to take it up Goldmine Hill, our off-road course. And coming up next, we're gonna take it up the hill and we're gonna tell you all about it.